Hey guys, welcome back to another Fusion 360 tutorial. Um, in this one, we're going to be talking about smart rotation. So um, instead of using my tutorial file, I figured I would use my Clank file because this is something I actually used in Clank um, to position him. So here we have it, and you can see one arm is positioned, one leg is positioned, and the other two are not. And you can also see he's angry Clank. He's got these eyelids here. And I can turn those off. Make him happy Clank, angry Clank. I'm going to leave him angry. Okay, so say that we wanted to rotate this arm. Well, first of all, I've just got to select everything in his actual arm. And as you can see, in this one, I don't have um, I don't have everything grouped the right way, so everything's still kind of their individual pieces, which they actually need to be in order to position them like this. So let's see, that looks like pretty much everything. So basically what I'm going to do is right click and go move. And now you can see that it puts the point somewhere out here and if I try to move it that's obviously not where we want to move it. Um, and especially for rotation that just that, that ends up being bad. So we need to move this point and actually we can do that by um, clicking on any of these. I have this rotation thing clicked but you can literally click anywhere. Um, and then this right here set pivot click that and then it asks you where you want to set it and now this is actually in my way because we want the pivot point to be this little um, this little guy here so I'm gonna hide this piece and then I can zoom in a little bit farther and click right there because that's where we actually want it to pivot and now you need to click this little check mark here to let it know that you are done um, because you can actually continue to move it from here um, and change the actual position of the pivot. But just remember when you're done, you have to click this little check mark. So I'll click that, and then I will bring back that one that we had hidden. Um, and this is actually still selected. Um, it just doesn't appear that way because we hit and everything, but just know that it is still selected. So now if I rotate it, you can see that the arm actually rotates around that point. And I can do just about everything along that. So that is very, very handy, especially when positioning things like this. So I think that looks good right about there. I'll hit OK. And now I can come in and select the rest of this. And then I can do basically the same thing here. I'll go move, and then I need to hide this guy. So I can um, set the pivot. And I think you can also click here to set pivot. Yep, you can. And let's see, since it's a kind of an angle, I think I'm just going to rotate it slightly. So we start out at about that angle, and that looks right to me. So I'll hit done. And now we can um, bring back the one we hid and rotate the whole thing. So I'm going to, oops, wrong, grab the wrong one there, rotate that way. And then I think I want to rotate up. Now you can see that he's almost saluting right there. Um, so this is a good way that you can use to position things. Um, and it's also helpful for like snapping things together. So that's just basically a really nice way to um, pose models that you've created in here. Um, because otherwise it can be kind of a pain that you have to like slide them out, uh, position them the way you want it to, and then like slide it back in and try and line things up. Um, which you can use the align tool in here to make your life a little bit easier there as well. But um, this is just kind of a fun little technique. So uh, keep that in mind when you're designing because obviously if you make these all one solid piece, um, then they pretty much aren't posable. So I made them separate objects so I can come in and pose them. So you can see it right there. I just made little round things so, they're, so they look nice when they're posed. Um, and then you can combine them afterwards. So just keep all of that in mind. All right, guys, well, this was a pretty quick tutorial, but uh, it's something that I found pretty useful um, when making things like this. So hopefully you found it useful. Well, that's it for this one, guys. Thanks for joining me. See you next time.